Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rubbed and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Now, of course, I have not been on the content grind right now. I just had some pre-scheduled videos going up whilst I was on holiday, but this, guys, will be a Destiny 2 content-packed video. Now, I've got a bunch of new news regarding IGN's playthrough of the European Dead Zone, which is basically Earth in terms of Destiny 2, and that is going to be the playable patrol area. And it is massive if you look at all of the gameplay available provided by IGN. But we're going to be going over the main points that I just want to shove into a video so you guys can have a good idea of some of the new things that you're going to be seeing from the game. Now, if we can smash for 40 likes, that'd be incredibly appreciated. And that's only 40 likes. I know you guys can do that. It takes two seconds. Please smash that like button. Anyway, let's get into the first thing. So the first thing I just wanted to quickly show you guys is the new directory, which shows all of the new maps and the crucible, of course. You can see the farm, which is the new social space, which looks as if it's above Earth, but it's obviously not. It's just on Earth but it's just a quick accessible way to get to the social space we have titan we have nessus and we have io and for some reason that has a cabal logo on it i'm guessing that's just because that's a story driven mission on that map i don't think that the cabal own that because i believe the cabal right now you know are taking over earth but anyway let's move on to the next thing which also is just another screenshot of the european dead zone which shows a bit of the things that you can do on it and it shows some new missions like flashpoints strikes the main missions and also some other little challenges that you can get along the way it also shows under each one of these powerful gear and we'll get over to who gives you that powerful gear in a second now something I just wanted to quickly point out to you guys was this new exotic called Graviton Lance. Now there's possibly two things that I think this could be. One, it could be this gun. And two, it could be this gun. Now I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but I'm maybe going to go with the first one that I showed you. The one that kind of looks like some sort of Omelon weapon, where it shoots out a circle, repulsion or expanding explosion in the middle, because I think that sounds a lot more like Black Hole. The second one though still sounds like something that would have Graviton in its name, if you know what I mean. Like it has a spacey vibe. But yeah, I mean, it's Destiny 2. Of course it's going to have a spacey vibe. But anyway, we're going to move on now. I hope that was pretty cool for you guys to see, you know, a new exotic being put into the game. We don't know exactly what gun they were referring to there because they didn't properly show it. But anyway, the next thing I wanted to get over with you guys was these new tokens. Now, these new tokens are called EDZ tokens. Now, what I believe you can do with these is give them to Devrim K, which is going to be a new NPC which will award you all of those engrams for doing various things on the European Dead Zone or Earth. So anything from, like, strikes to public events to little missions on the side, lost sectors... He's going to be awarding you with things, and he's also going to be classed as a faction. These are all the things that you can earn on him right now on screen. He's got pretty good things for you to get there, and they're all legendary if you grind out enough for him. And also, if you do look on screen right now, you're going to see something called a Bright Engram. Now, the Bright Engram is something that you get when you get full level. Once you've got max level, you can keep on grinding for Bright Engrams, and I believe these give you more powerful loot, something to do with the light level system, but it is something above max base level. So it will be something that you can exchange for powerful loot and stings that will further on your progress. So the Bright Engrams, they're also again given to you from doing things like Lost Actors, Public Events, and you have to earn them. And also now if you look back at the screenshot that I just showed you just a second ago, where it shows your European Dead Zone tokens and the Lost Sector looted, it actually shows in the top right from one of the chests that you get from this Lost Sector a Fractured Arrow, a Hunter Relic. Now, what this symbol actually confirms, though, is that there is going to be a Night Stalker in Destiny 2. That's right, the Night Stalker is going to come back. So, luckily for the Hunters, you guys have now the Tether, which is going to be helpful for you guys to be a supportive class. That's really all I wanted to show you guys. A bunch of new gameplay in the background, new exotics. There's plenty of exotics in this, and I just can't wait to see some of this new stuff. There's lots of gameplay on IGN, as I said, so head over there just after watching this video. Go check out what they're up to. And thank you so, so, so much, guys, for watching this brand new video. That's all for today, though, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, that's all for today. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day.